punching it down, so take every point you can get. <laughs> and then the fan backhand, that is absolutely fantastic. What do you think, Daryl? What do you think on the, on the result here? I think the best of three would suit. Go backwards and forwards with it, but possibly what I saw at the Octasia with it, George Parker just running out of dip steam a little bit. Well, the best of three could suit him, you know. Yeah, absolutely. You'd feel that Ika maybe had that slightly bigger engine in the best of five. George definitely a dangerous player in the short format. Always intriguing to see when a, a pair of met just a week before as well. Everything's fresh in the mind. Previous matches, it can help either player, to be honest. How they approach it is the key. Will George learn from the loss last week? Rectify it? Or does Ika have that confidence that he's just beaten his opponent and can do it again this week? Just get that feeling it's going to be a close one. flown out and give us a, another great view of this beautiful a, venue. Isn't it? Isn't it just presentation of this event? Second to none, really. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's another tin. Two wild Three. tins from George Parker, mid area of the court. Just needs to steady the ship slightly. Telly's pumped up for this, but is that keeping it under wraps a little bit more? Yeah, Eek is someone you don't want to be giving three points to. A player that doesn't make a lot of errors, doesn't give you much. Well, it was nicely played from Parker. Oh, good hold. My knee went then. <laughs> it's mine. At least yours has got some life in it, Daryl. Not much. Enough. <laughs> oh, it's oh. nice to play. It's a great rally. And that is a little taste of what might be a regular feature in this outing between these two. Three Parker can keep that composure. We haven't, we've barely had, I mean, I know it's best of three format, barely had any court maintenance on, you know. That's something that I've noticed with the glass floor. Really does enhance that experience at the highest level. Yes, left. Yes, Just a bit of interference on the way to the... Three. Yeah, so far so good on that front. Definitely using that front wall a bit more than his opponent, George Parker. Parker definitely dictating this rally. 
whether he can keep that consistency and patience. Oh, he's absolutely oh. zoroed it in the neck. That was seriously swashbuckling, wasn't it? <laughs> this is a great shot. And out. Four, three. Oh, check it from here. It's a great angle as well. Isn't it? Stayed very short. Hit that steeply. And he's added that element to his game. You know how solid and athletic he is, but... It's just enough there as well. This is impressive from Bajares. Five, three. Good adaption of racket. I know it didn't end up exactly where he wanted it, but it was enough for the winner. Yeah, did what it said on the tin. Interesting one here, Joey. Did he take one step the wrong way? And then, is he too late? Yeah, we'll have a look here. Oh, probably right. I would probably agree that this is a let ball. I know he goes initially. Oh, just, uh, you're looking at a lot of court coverage. Yes, let Bit of traffic. Yeah. yeah, probably a fair outcome there, but. George using his review early on in this match. Yeah, one review each, and then it goes to a third, they're back to one review each. That makes sense. now from both players just settled into the match. Bradley's lengthening. Well, it was there for the taking for Parker. He'd done the work on that left-hand wall. Six, four. Take a bit of pace off it, put it in. He's technically so solid in that area. That's the third one, third error, that forehand side for George, and all of them be disappointed with. When you look at the scoreboard, it really proved crucial. Down. Again, another one. Seven, four. He could just squeeze in a few. Lazy errors from George. Is it manageable? Should we just get call service? Call service, please. Well, so a bit of a rarity, the court service. 
just to make sure it's safe. That's fair enough. Sensible. Both players happy with it to be sorted. Any excuse to get the DJ? Back no, on as yeah, well. absolutely, Daryl. Unbelievable, isn't it? Just look at it with that sheen, and it's like, how they, how can they stand up? All the stand up. I mean, we haven't seen any type of bad slip. Seven, Jinx four. it. Seven four after that intermission. Left box. Ball's just dropped off there. And that serve. Yeah, I mean, the time taken for that bit of court maintenance. Oh, he's gone for it. Oh, that's a great lift. That really is a great lift. He was under a huge amount of pressure there. And, uh, Kahara is taking the ball in from the back of the court seven. with quality, but look at that lift. This, this is this is more like it. The spot took a drop off of the ball, Daryl and George Six, Parker's seven. two points. Beautiful lob to the back, and then taking the pace off at the front. Down. There we have it. The seven-four lead extinguished. Parker seven, very much in with a shout. I did wonder whether that court maintenance break would help or hinder, and it's definitely switched the momentum, allowed Parker to regain his composure after a few errors. Right back in this first game. Eight, seven. Yeah, that's a big miss there from Parker. As you hear the roar from Parker, He was irritable with himself. He knew that was a bad angle. He got away with it there. Good squash from Parker. Just picking the hires off now. Leaving it loose and it's a nice finish. Nine, Soft hands. Seven. Yeah, he's showing his, his technical qualities with his attacks. Right through from 4-7 to 9-7. Five points on the trot for the Englishman. Oh, that's a great shot. But he's on a massive roll here, Daryl. Unbelievable camera angle for this as well. That is absolutely glued. So George Parker showing why his previous highest ranking is 25 in the world. And the Game Paras, really, the wheels have come off. He's completely Parker lost his concentration after commanding at 7-4 the intermission for the court wiping. And it's George Parker that punishes his way through, leading one game to love. Well, that was a game of two halves. Ika controlling the first period of that first game, but George Parker, after the court maintenance, fighting back and playing some quality shots towards the end of the first game. A few errors from Pajares to help, but George Parker finding some quality winners that one absolutely glued to the sidewall. Slow-mo showing the ball all the way down the sidewall to the back of the court, absolutely glued. Nick Matthew giving George Parker words of advice. Player resume in 60 seconds. Keeping his focus, keeping his calm and composure. George is someone that likes to talk as well in between games. Yeah, I mean, that's going to be an interesting one with Nick Matthew. 
Yeah, Nick will definitely want the last word. Well, the opportunity's there with Parker. It really is. He's taken the first game, best of three format. He's shown his work into they the front. Resume in 30 seconds. Seriously damaging for Pajares. He needs a massively good start, the Spaniard, because honestly, unbelievable how it changed. Well, that's in the past now. Crowd in for this last match. It's been the evening session turnout has been superb. It will be Harry Ram Ram tomorrow. Set out all the way through. Parker Lee is one game to love. Absolutely stunning. Phil Ray lit up beautifully as well. Level. <laughs> as the squadron leader kicks off this second game, he's not quite ready. All eyes on the Spaniard now. Yeah, he's going to need to respond at the start of this second game. Oh! What's going on? Oh, just smacking it down the middle. <laughs> <laughs> George got into a really strange position at the front of the court there. Good pace change here again from Parker. This is great. Got it. Oh, he's done it again. No luck. Player review, Baharis on the right. no-let. Slightly disagreed with the no-let, Daryl. If he wanted to hit this down the forehand side, he'd have absolutely wrapped George with this ball. Yeah, I'd love to see him from the overhead. Here we go. Was it past him or not? No, no. it wasn't past him. <laughs> no, it wasn't past him. It wasn't fooled by the one down the middle. This can't be a no-let. I just don't feel it. Phil Ree feels that Baharis can play the rest of the front wall there, which you could probably understand. And it is no a no let, so has it's no a big call from Phil, Phil Ree. <laughs> to get his words out. Get his name out, I can't get my words yeah. out. No review for Pajares in this second game, it's disappeared. Parker lost his early in the first. Parker a couple of times, just not quite finding that width, forehand to backhand, but he's been getting away with it. Point into his head. Again, really a poor error. Just stay in. Down. Two, one. Slightly overstretching, possibly on that one, but Parker's so strong in that area of the court. Yeah, you just feel like if Parker keep the ball out of that tin, keep the errors to a minimum, that he's got a real chance in this match. And the middle rally again. It's well played, he played it well. Got what it deserved, Barrow, didn't it? Got what it deserved. Yeah, crowd getting into it as well. Cheering on the Englishman. Great finish. So dangerous around that mid-court area.
Parker controlling this rally. Again. Can he keep that composure? Good squeeze from Parker. Just starting to find his range again in this second game into the ascendancy. Mahrez up against it, not quite finding his normal range and rhythm. Parker again just changing the angle down the middle, using the down the middle shot. Sorry, do you need the floor wiping? Call service, please. How did he squeeze that down the wall? <laughs> I'm not sure he got it in the first place. I mean, how did he do that? That's the weirdest shot I've ever seen. It's like he had a fishing rod or something. Very effective, though, and more importantly, quite crucial for Baharez. You've got to keep on your toes around here, Daryl. There's a lot of booby traps. <clears throat> He's out to get you. <laughs> Nice bit come off, ended up being a Yorker. Bahara's just giving Parker a little bit of a taste of his own medicine with the one down the middle. Corners for both players. This is nice play. He's gone for the big E, didn't quite find the neck. needed for Parker he's been really destructive on that backhand side becoming a really enthralling contest locked in at four all crucial few rallies upcoming it's good work on that Left hand wall from Pajares. Yeah. 
Oh, just catching the top of the tin. Hanging tough there. It was a decent defensive play early on in that rally from Parker when he got the opportunity. Barr has had to look to cover that front left-hand corner and then punching it deep. Good squash brain on him, Parker. It's always back to the usual of, of keeping the keeping the rage intact. It's always the challenge for him. Yes, left. Five, four. Nervy times for the Spaniard. Ended up very high there. Five four. Barker, Nick Matthew discussing tactics. Yeah, he just about cleared. Maybe by the some of their old matches as well. Five four. Do you think you can take this in two, Englishman? I do. Just needs to keep his composure. I've said this before, but quality of squash has been very good in this match so far from Parker. I was just about to say, I'm surprised Harris hasn't stepped up the court and, and uh, yeah, his normal plan B is to hit harder and, and put pace on. A nice finish. He's got to. He's got to. If he if he tries to. Play this type of tempo with Parker in the mood that Parker's in tonight. He's going to be in a lot of trouble. It's got to be an injection from Pajares. However, Darryl, that injection needs to be accurate. Yeah, it does indeed. He's starting to spend more time on the court. On the tee, I should say. Not on the court, he's obviously on the court. Oh, he's got it. Oh, he's got it. Oh, oh he's... Play it out! No, no, Mr. No, Mr. Mr. Parker. No, stop. Stop. Why are you stopping No, conduct that? warning for descent. You do not need to talk to me like that. Why are you I, no. He I, needs to change his T-shirt, though. You should have changed his T-shirt. Because it's the... the play, but I did not at the time. Why? Six, five. Why? I to Left box. Why? You, you slipped, Mr. Parker. Yeah? Yes. And there was no dangerous play at that point in time once the rally continued. Oh, what a position. Oh, hamstring adductus. <laughs> yeah, it's the right decision. He's. This is going to be a turning point here. Can he just recheck himself, George Parker, because that's completely the correct decision from Phil Ree. Yep. So that's yeah, absolutely drenched. T-shirt was drenched before he came out, though, Daryl. <laughs> well, I think he changed it in between games. Did he? I think he did. 6-5. Play on, please. Oh. As we know, there's pretty much nearly a full house. Extra body heat's going to make this environment that bit warmer. Pires itching to serve to crack on. It's a misjudgment. Seven, five. has done well over the last few minutes just to switch the momentum in his favour. Feel like he's in the ascendancy now. Not happy with himself there though. He felt like he, he should have got that. Park with a nice simple, Hand soft, down. straight counter Six, drop. Seven. Oh, he's really feeling like he should have. Yeah, he needed to get that up and over because Parker was exploding onto that ball. He hadn't gone in the towel box. Just can't get away from the Englishman. Do quite like the nickname Parker the Punisher. Hello. That's been a mainstay for him. That's served him very well, isn't it? 
Yeah, that backhand area has been really strong for... I was just about to say the Punisher then, but... <laughs> I don't know if I can bring myself to call him that yet. I will check with George first, he's happy with it. <laughs> well, he could review... I you were in a swing and you didn't clear. Your shot caused the interference. He's not reviewing. 8-7. Right oh, he's on a tightrope here. I mean, this is... I don't think he can review. I think he lost that, that one earlier. Of course, yeah. But whether it would have been overturned, I think it would have been. Yeah, it was pretty, pretty tight on his body in that one. This is trouble again. Oh, he's got it. Are they going to stop it this time? Well, there's a massive sweat mark there, and he's, he's gone through it. Up. He's gone through it. He's waving his arms around. It's up to the ref, isn't it? Yeah, it is up to the ref. <laughs> George Parker. Also this, yes, please. Keeps his nerve very well there on that backhand volley. We're waiting the possible stop for the rally with that dive from Baharez. It wasn't to come. George Parker puts himself in a prime position. This dive from Fajares, showing all the athleticism to get up so quick after he's hit it, Nine stay in the rally. Seven. Crowd getting into this now. Urging Parker on. Tight. Did he get it? That was a, an appeal. Good air time on that lob. Good. Another good one back. Oh, he's got oh, he's it. dug it out. Video referee decision on the Paris appeal. Yeah, okay, let's, let's do, we'll, we'll check the pickup. In that case, we will check the pickup first. And then we'll move to the... Yeah, because if the pickup's down, then, of course, he's lost the point. So we're going to look at the pickup from Pajares. That was in the front forehand yeah, corner, front, I believe. Front right-hand corner. Here we go. It's a great angle. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. That was fine. That was very clear for me. Yeah, I think it just popped off the sidewall. Yeah, he it? gets it. Sidewall gets it. So that's good. That is good, definitely. I mean, it's, it's very clear, isn't it? Okay, the official decision is good on the pickup, and now it's video referee decision on the Baharas appeal. So, let's have a look at this one because he felt that his arm was completely taken out unintentionally by Parker, but in terms of the contact. I don't think there's much there, Joey. Oh, no, is it's there? A bit... Has he got to go back and play that? Well, he's kind of very high. Oh, my word. Oh no, he's had no an absolute left. stinker, he's had a shocker, he's had a shocker for Harris. he's always someone that likes to play the ball. Play and George Ten Parker seven. finds himself ball. with three match balls to extend his run in this tournament. Down. And he's done it. Seven. Match to Parker. He's set him up Two with a service, so I mean that was some clever squash from George Parker. 11-7. Great to uh, see George Parker there scratching his head. He's had a tough time on the tour last couple of years. Down to 49 in the world. He can show what he can do. He's just taken out a very, very good player in the top 20 in the world, the form of Ika Pajares. And thoroughly deserved for George Parker, who will just gather himself now as he launches the ball into a terrific crowd. We're going to hear from George Parker and Michael Absalom.
George, congratulations. Uh, we saw some of the power, the emotion, the pumping of the chest, just to prove how much it means to you out there on court. Um, how'd you rate that performance? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I didn't expect to be here, obviously. Uh, uh, yeah, I thought my short game was good, you know, a bit edgy, but, you know, I managed to get a bit of a lead in every game, which helped. I don't know, I got no pressure. Got people watching me, you know, I ain't seen for ages, so I'm just relaxed, ready for a beer, but I can't have one yet. But, yeah, I might have one, one gin and tonic, but, no, yeah, I'm just enjoying it. I've got nothing to lose, so I'm happy. Does that make a huge difference? We often see you getting quite frustrated in games, but like small elements like having a few friends here, just taking the edge off a bit. I mean, there's a lesson within that, isn't there? Yeah, you've got the, like, the old England team here, Richie. You know, like, yeah, we played with each other for years and seen faces in the crowd. It's like you're playing in Manchester, like, yeah. with a friendly, yeah. Obviously, there's pressure because there's so many people, but, you know, I'm coming in as the underdog, so, like, I've literally got nothing to lose. And you're going against the underdog against Paul Cole as well. You get a day off tomorrow, and then you, you tee up against, against Paul. I mean, uh, one of the world's best players. Best of three, yeah, yeah, yeah. Quarterfinals. I do. Yeah, like, uh, I've played Paul a lot. You know, I, I've always struggled, but like I said, like he's a, he's a class player. It's going to be a clean game. So, like, you know, best of three might suit me. So, yeah, nothing to lose. Excellent stuff. Well, enjoy the crowd applause tonight and uh, enjoy that, that beer or that gin and tonic, maybe. George Parker. Well, George Parker with a massive two-love victory over the higher-ranked Ika Pajares. Parker played some outstanding squash throughout, taking the game to Pajares, using all four corners. Coming out with a headbutt of the wall to finish, but fantastic result for George Parker. technique from George Parker. Thirty-five minutes for George Bar Parker to upset the Apple Cart here in London. 11-7, 11-7. Two love victory for him, thoroughly deserved. Well, I'm joined in the studio by Lisa Aitken and the music is definitely pumping, the atmosphere is terrific and what a great victory there. Said it a few times in his interview with Michael Absalom, there's nothing to lose, there's nothing to lose. He's obviously trying to enjoy his squash, great to see him get it over the line against Pajaras. Yeah, I mean, there's no doubt about it that he'll be frustrated with the ranking drop. I mean, we've seen tonight, he's got the capability of playing some unbelievable squash, he's the capability of also playing a lot higher than his ranking. And he, and he said that a few times, I've noticed in his previous round, in his previous event as well, as well. there's nothing to lose. He's going on about not being supported by England squash anymore, so he's just kind of lifted all of that pressure off him, and he's just trying to play with a bit more freedom, and you can see that tonight. Well, as we have a, a look at the results from today's play, the second round, remember it's the top half of the draw here at Ali Pali. Seems a long time ago, we saw Jasmine Hutton take to the court. She really tested Naila Gillis. Another great match with Marwan and Kandra. Gina Kennedy, the all-English affair there. Joel making looking solid. And then as it goes down, Katie Maleff certainly looking like she's improving, but not coming out the winner against Subramanium. Timmy Brunel, good run in this tournament for him. And then Norel Shabini tested by a very, very uh, talented Tesney Murphy. George Parker, that result, taking out a big seed in this event. Well, the best of three certainly has a place and it can throw in results like we've just seen there and it could also extend through tomorrow and also the quarterfinals. Yes, absolutely. I mean, I quite like having the best of three format now and again. I don't particularly, as a player, I don't particularly enjoy playing it. I like a best of five traditional kind of let's guts it out. I feel like that's where the proper squash is for me. But the best of three, it's so exciting. And I just love how it can really throw off um, a few players. And, and yeah, it's very exciting. Well, we look at the schedule for tomorrow. The bottom half of the draw, there is some monumental names. Check this out. So we've got the All English encounter with Sarah Jane Perry kicking off. Baptiste Masotti, who's dangerous in a best of three. 
Declan James certainly was solid in his run to get into this as the wild card, having a big, big result in the round one. Holly Norton will take on Gohan. That should be feisty. And as the list goes on, we've got Asal stepping up to the mark. Looking forward to that. Satomi Watanabe, Hanyarel Hamami. That's very exciting. And then Nathan Lake, the lefty, taking on Elenayan. What really stands out predictions and what stands out for you, Lisa? I'm looking forward to seeing Declan James come back into the fold on the big stage. And my pick of the day is definitely going to be Satomi Watanabe taking on Haniel Hamami. I mean, how can it be after their meeting? And the last time they played was very exciting. So all eyes on that one for me. It's your favourite player? Well, I can't wait. Well, it's been fantastic working here today with Lisa and Daryl and all the Squash TV crew. What a tremendous venue. And we'll be back tomorrow for Ali Pali for more of this London Classic Squash.